my channel. I just wanted to hop on here really quick. Some more details from Leah Messer's new book has come out. Hope, Grace, and Faith. I'm sure by now you guys know the title. Released May 5th. I'm going to order a copy so we can do a little story time here with the main details of the book. <laughs> Most of them have come out at this point. But we do have more that has come out in an excerpt from Leah's book obtained by the Ashley and the Sun. Leah talks about how she boxed fellow students during elementary school. Leah was actually part of a kitty fight club. Leah said that her family actually encouraged her to use her fight club skills to fight any female that tried to steal her man. According to Leah, one incident in her teenage years actually led to her being charged with juvenile assault. In an excerpt from Leah's new book, she wrote, I was tougher than I looked. We used to be part of what I can only describe as an elementary school fight club. She also added that some of the kids in her elementary school would meet up at an empty log cabin on the school property to take part in these fights. She said every day at recess, there would be these pre-arranged fights. It was totally under the radar, but highly organized. What the what? I'm shocked at this, you guys. Leah said if it wasn't disturbing enough, that other kids would place bets on who they thought was gonna win each fight. Leah said her desire to fit in is what actually encouraged her or pushed her to become a member of this fight club. In another excerpt from the book, she wrote, you'd be down on the ground wrestling, pulling hair, punching and kicking each other, doing whatever you had to do to stay in the fight until one of you finally gave in. Leah said, I was actually undefeated. Then on my third or fourth fight, the girl I was up, up against got hurt and we all got in trouble. Leah goes on to describe the fight. She says, I tackled her and took her down, but she was squirming around on the ground. She hit her kneecap on the wooden wall of the cabin and split it open. Suddenly there was blood all over the place, all over her knee, and all the kids that had been watching and cheering us on instantly scattered. That was the end of my junior wrestling career, until her high school years, that is. You guys remember Robbie? You know, the guy that she cheated on everyone with? Well, Leah said that in her book, that she actually used her fight club skills to keep a girl away from him back in high school. In her book, she wrote, certain girls were getting too close to her man and her mom and her grandmother were so furious when they found out that the girl was trying to snatch Leah's man that Leah said her grandmother actually came to school one day, pulled her out of class and told her the only way to settle this was to beat the girl's butt, to fight the girl, beat her up. Leah's grandma gave her specific orders to do this or else she would be in trouble when she got home that day. Leah said at this point she had gotten in trouble so many times that she was basically warned, if you get in trouble anymore, you're going to be suspended. So she says she tried to calm her grandmother down and tell her, look, I can't get in any more trouble or I'm going to be suspended. Leah said her grandmother left with these words, you need to stand up to this girl. Even if you can't do it at school, then you better do it when you don't have school. Leah said a few days later, she ran into the, the girl a in the hallway and she decided to basically ambush the girl. Another excerpt from the book says, something inside of me just snapped and the impulse to fight completely took over me. This time I didn't give her a warning or time to run away. I just walked up to her and punched her in the face. She was definitely shocked, but it only took a second for her to fight back. And then it was just an all out brawl. At some point we must have fought our way back into the classroom because I remember having her lean over the top of one of the computers and hitting her over and over. Oh my goodness. It was like all this rage that had been simmer simmering under the surface had finally boiled over and I couldn't stop. That primordial instinct to protect what I had took over and nothing else mattered. In the end, it took two male teachers to pull me off of her. Oh my goodness. Leah says she had beaten the girl so badly that she ended up having to go to the hospital and the girl's family did press charges on her. That is when Leah was charged with the juvenile assault. Leah says she was suspended from school for three days. She had to see a parole officer once a month for six months, and her grandma had to pay the girl's hospital bills. That's why you don't fight in school, kids. I have to say, each week when I get more details of the book, I think to myself, there's nothing that could top this, and then each week, something comes out that tops it. So I'm shocked, you guys. What do you think? Leah's family encouraged her to fight. Protect your man, even though they were literally like 12 years old. But this was the guy that Leah cheated on, like every male she's ever been involved with. She has cheated on him back with this Robbie kid. I've often asked myself, like, why don't she just get with this Robbie kid? Obviously, there's like some connection there. Why does she cheat on Jeremy, uh, Corey? She cheated on both of them with this kid, but she like doesn't get back with him. I've wondered, do you guys wonder the same thing? Let me know your thoughts. And if you are shocked by this, Leah, a part of a fight club, like, come on, are you, are you guys shocked? She was charged with a juvenile 
assault. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. And until next time, see you guys later. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.